quick video showing um, um, after I installed the touch screen. Um, there's a couple things I didn't like. I mean, the install was kind of hard. I mean, if you're not if you're new to soldering, it's it's a little tricky. But um, there's a couple different ways you can go. You can go through um, your USB, you know, drive soldering it directly to the USB drive on the inside on the motherboard, or you can use the um, the PCI um, connection on the motherboard. But that requires some pretty articulate uh, soldering, um, which I wasn't ready to do. So I basically just wired mine up to the solder uh, to the USB drive. Um, using one, you know, one of them, and then I blocked it out so I don't use it because um, obviously there's no hub. But um, as you can see, it is installed, and I'm, I'm pretty impressed with um, with the, the use of it. I mean, it's pretty accurate. Um, it's pretty um, pretty fast. But all in all, I mean, it, it is what it is. I mean, it's, it does what it's supposed to. And if you go to the utility, you can do the uh, draw test. Um, the other thing I didn't like was... Um, makes it quite a bit more thicker and it actually doesn't rest on the rubber bushings that um, well, you know that uh, help it not touch um, but it is it does make it a little bit fatter I mean if that's a big deal to you I guess you know to me it's not that much of a big deal I mean just just being able to uh, use it uh, on the screen, it's nice because you could, you know, scroll real easy. I like it. That's it. The EPC touchscreen.